All right, guys, let's do this. Okay, I'm not gonna make the Leroy Jenkins reference. Hey, guys, uh, Nardrum are actually recording. Um, so yeah, all we have to do in Torvus Bog here is uh, fight Mothra. I mean Chika, because that was totally not intentional. And for some reason, entering the Dark Temple Keys actually floods the place with purple shit. And. Behold, a boss that stumped me for like three tries before I realized that I'm an idiot, but I'll get to that when the time comes. Uh, yeah, I'm actually recording things. Um, so you see this weird cocoon thingy. And, well, what, that's kind of strange. There shouldn't, there wouldn't normally be a giant cocoon thingy. I, I don't know. So, but yeah, you just destroy these. I think with charge beam shots or missiles or something. Yeah, charge beam shots work just fine. I'm not gonna waste any of my supply. I don't think I've missed anything up to this point. Uh, if I have, let me know in the comments because I want to backtrack and get them before Sanctuary Fortress. I think this is gonna be a very short two parts because I don't want to actually move on to Sanctuary Fortress yet. So that happens. There's a lot to scan in this fight, so make sure you're very, like, diligent about that if you're, like, a completist freak. With, but, like, with items, I'm completist with this, but I'm gonna make an exception with all the scans because, good god, there are a lot of them in Thing. This is actually Chika Larva. <clears throat> And we've got another creature that dives in the air from place to place, just like the last boss. Uh, so scanning you up. Uh, the best thing to do would just be to wait until it pops out. Oh, uh, wait, I forgot about these things. Ooh. Ah. Well, that was interesting. Yeah, those things are kind of annoying. Okay. Ah, ah, I, I, I completely forgot how to fight this boss, yay. Um, pretty sure, yeah, I just heard it, I think. Uh, I'm just gonna keep on it with charge beam shots. Uh, you'll see why later. Okay, I better scan these things. These are, uh, dark shredders. Uh, they're just like the normal shredders, except they're way more annoying to kill. And when they do, they when you, they if they do explode on you, they do way more damage. But good news is they're usually grouped pretty close together, so you can usually get them to just explode on top of each other. And I missed an opportunity to fire at Chika. It's it's a good idea to deal with those dark shredders early, otherwise they'll just kind of kill you with a fork. I don't know. Um, this fight is going very slowly, so I will use light beam ammo. I don't want to sit here forever and deal with Chika. Ooh, we've got more Dark Shredders. Screw you. Come on. Pop up over the water. If I can get a lock on him... Where'd he go? Oh, okay, he can suddenly warp, I guess. Because, like, he was nowhere near that area. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, it's usually just pretty easy to... Oh, let's take care of them. Yeah, they usually just explode on each other, so they're not that big of a deal. Oh, what? How did I miss that? It was locked on. Oh, God. Oh, what the? Thank you. This provides plenty of opportunity for me to get lots of shots on him. Okay, just making sure he didn't have another scan. I think once he hits half, it's either when he hits half health and he changes, or you have to drain his bar completely and then he changes. I don't remember which. I think you have to drain it completely. I could be completely wrong about this, though. Uh, okay, he's going to emerge somewhere over here. Pay close attention to your HUD on this. Heads up display. I don't know why I explained the acronym there. Um, yeah. Okay, so obviously you need to drain his bar completely. This is going to be a long fight, I think. It usually is. I've only done this fight like once or twice, like I kind of said. Um, 
the part that I conti con uh, can't speak consistently got stuck on was uh okay he's doing this thing again was in the like uh, moth part of the fight you'll see what you'll see what I'm saying in a few minutes here probably I don't know uh you're just gonna want to kind of spam him with light beam ammo if you want this to go fast uh you won't really need light beam ammo uh as far as the next part of the fight goes where is he okay I, don't, I think it's a she actually so maybe I'm wrong okay he pukes a little bit and then startling crap happens yeah that happens this fight just got a lot harder because first of all you have to use the grapple beam with like extreme precision in this part of the fight it's really annoying and this thing happens and oh look it's actually Chika. So obviously, since it's the adult, it's a new f scan. Um, this thing is incredibly annoying. Because first of all, it's a pain in the foot to actually like lock onto this thing and conserve ammo here. Because you can't actually directly hurt him here. You have to stun him. Oh my god. I forgot how far that attack pushed you back. Oh, uh, yeah. This is the part of the fight that confused me. You need to stun him, and then get behind him, and then like fire missiles at these things. Um, I didn't know that you had to get behind him, so I'm just sitting there firing missiles at these things, thinking the game was glitched, and I did that for about an hour, until I realized you had to get behind him, because the strategy guide I was reading online was very vague. It was awful. This would be a good time to start using missiles to stun and uh, attack, because, like, if you have a fart load like I do, the only problem is, uh, Chika's extremely good at avoiding them. And he'll always f face, uh, like, direct- okay, hang on. It takes two missiles. He'll always, like, face directly, uh, away from one of the grab- like, one of the platforms. So that should have been another indication, like, that I was doing something wrong. But, again, I'm an idiot, so. I think, uh, his stun form might be a scan, so I'm gonna try that this time. Uh, is he in his stun form? No. I wouldn't be surprised if this entire segment was just the fight. Uh. Okay, apparently it is not a scan. So get behind him, lock onto one of his wing things, and yeah, do that. Do that four times, and I think you have to do it again later. It's not too annoying, it's just time consuming, but, you know, most bosses kind of are. But this is a shooter, not an RPG, so I don't know why this boss takes forever. There's no real explanation to it. And I'm getting crammed here. Why am I not shooting at him? I was, like, waiting for something, apparently. Yeah, another drawback to this boss is he's, like, really hard to hit. And he'll, like, repel missiles, but sometimes you can actually get them to repel into his tail. I think I did that once. Or, like, his sack thing. I like how I'm completely failing to hit this guy. And I can't see shit. Come on. I would use light beam ammo, but I'm running kind of low on that. And it's not that irritating. It's like, okay, you know what? Pop, pop, power beam fire, go. I'm more like likely to... Like, 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 like. Oh god. Yeah, that would be the point where you're supposed to... Whoa, what the... Is this a new scan? No. What is he doing? At least his movement pattern is kind of predictable there. Okay, here we go. And you gotta go look at that. And then, eh, come on, log on. There we go. Okay, definitely a new scan here. Ah! Okay, let me read this real quick. Okay. Now his tail is kind of covered in crap. Okay. Uh, the only thing that's vulnerable is this sack thing. 
like the scan kind of said. Sorry about the long silence there. I was just kind of reading. Uh, uh, if you ever wanted to get some, uh, first of all, scan the chiklings. And yes, they're chiklings. Uh, I'm just kind of avoiding them right now, trying to scan one of them. And then I'm going to quickly uh, go back to the other side and start killing them with dark beam shots, because that'll just pour light beam ammo everywhere. Which is kind of necessary for this part of the fight. It makes it a lot easier. Like, every boss has something like this. Like, a large like way of getting ammo. It's great. I don't know why you can do that either, but I guess if you, you need to kind of be smart about it, because you can't just, like, spam light ammo the entire fight. But it does make this part of the fight really easy. Uh, yeah, he does go back to this. Uh, the only, that's like the chance for you to do the most damage in the fight. And that's basically this fight in a nutshell. You just do the same, oh, okay, he's doing his derpy thing. I just called it the, the derpy thing. Again, this is the, lock on, forgot, lock on, Jesus. This is the part of the fight where his movement pattern's the most predictable. Or like, no, not this part of the fight, but when he's like circling around. It's kind of hard to lock on to him, though, as I've been kind of saying. Uh, anyway, it's just really annoying to hit him in general. And if you don't take every opportunity you get to get behind this, it's really annoying. That That's this fight. That's all I can really say about it. I, I could have taken a lot more opportunities to uh, attack him when he was in his, like, uh, darkened form, I guess you could say. But I didn't really do that for some reason. If you can get a lock on him here, it's a little bit easier to stun him. I'm gonna keep calling it a him. If, if, if there's proof that it's a her, I'll correct myself in the next segment. Again, leave it in the comments. I don't know. I don't think you people care that much. Uh... Okay. Let's attack thing, I don't know. I don't know, I don't really have anything else to say about this. I don't I'm not quite sure why I'm aiming at the thinnest part of the body when I could be aiming at the large bloat sack thing. Uh at the back of his body, which is like a huge target. In fact, why why haven't I been doing that seriously? Cause I'm a dumbass. Okay, only one to go. And also, um, hitting those things on the back of his wings also, uh, hurts him, so, like, takes out some of his health. I can't believe I'm, how well I'm dodging that. I mean, it's kind of cool how, uh, well, censor, um, it's kind of cool how he has to, like, dip his tail, or her tail, I don't know, into the, like, purple shit to actually spit it out. That's kind of realistic. I think that was a cool design choice, but... It's little things like that that make, it, make me like video games, I don't know. Incorporating realism into a fight like this is kind of hard, considering it's a giant butterfly trying to kill you. Or it's like a moth. Alright, we've got this stage of the Oh god, I forgot he did that. Um, we got this part of the fight now. Uh, I'm going to ignore the triclings for as long as I can. Oh, wow, that was a waste of time. Alright, come on, finish up the fight. There we go. <coughs> What's the first thing I do after beating Chaika? I cough my brains out. Okay, that only took a segment. This is good because I don't know what to do after this.